Okay, we're going to go over sidewall shaping. Uh, sidewall shaping is a process where we uh, go into the uh, tips and tails of the ski and uh, relieve the excess sidewall material where it's very vertical. And this is going to allow us to do two things. It's going to make it easier to pull the correct angle on your side edge because the sidewall material won't be in the way when you're filing. But also when the ski's on edge in the snow, that excess material won't interface with the snow so the skis will actually hold better when they're on edge. Uh, from the factory, um, they actually do sand a taper into the sidewall material from uh, you know, like 12 inches up from the tail and 12 inches in from the tip. Um, they stop in these sections because the skis get so thin, there isn't a lot of material to work with. So they actually do shape the ski in this section, but they leave the tail and the tip uh, section quite vertical and that's where all the work needs to be done. So what we end up doing in this section of the ski is we uh, shape the sidewall material and pull this back with a series of tools that we use. Uh, panzer file and sandpaper and also we use a side edge side, uh, side wall guide to pull back that little bit of material right above the edge so we pull back that edge material shape the side wall and sand it all smooth uh, with the torsion box ski this is really necessary but with the cap ski that shape's kind of already built into the construction of the ski so there's not a lot of excess material that needs to be removed or shaped there is a little bit of material right above the edge that we need to pull out of the way with the sidewall planer, and that's quite easy to do. Um, but sidewall shaping is going to be done with the torsion box construction for the most part. Doing the sidewall shaping, we just need a few tools. We need a uh, sidewall planer, uh, we need a sharp panzer file, some sandpaper, uh, 100 grit sandpaper works great, um, plastic scraper to wrap it around. Uh, true bar and a uh, good set of vices. So when we're uh, shaping the sidewall of the ski, we're really going to focus on the tip and tail, uh, about 12 inches on each end, uh, that we're really going to do a lot of the shaping. Uh, also, we're going to pull back the little sidewall bumper right above the edge with the sidewall planer. And then once we get everything sh shaped and pulled back out of the way, we'll sand it smooth to tie it all together. Um, what we're looking to do is put, be able to put a true bar on here and actually see the sidewall material be recessed and pulled back out of the way. So when we are pulling with our file, that excess material isn't going to hang up and cause us to pull a negative angle. And also, like I mentioned before, to get that sidewall material pulled back and out of the way, it's going to make your skis knife and hold a lot better when you're on edge while you're skiing. So first thing that we're going to do is uh, set up our sidewall guide our side uh, wall planer, I should say, and pull this excess material um, back out of the way right above the edge. And the key here is to get as close to the edge as you can without actually striking the edge with the, with the, with the guide. A lot of the guides are going to be adjustable. You can pull the, um, the bit in or out. They all adjust differently. I like using the round bit because it pulls back the material and leaves a smooth edge. And once we have that set, then you can pull back the sidewall material. The step is going to be taking a panzer file and shaping the sidewall material. You know, you don't have to go too crazy with this, but you do want to round off the top sheet uh, through the heel of the ski, and then right where it goes vertical, you want to build that taper. Uh, carry that right on through to the tail of the ski. See that material is recessed and pulled back out of the way. We want to do the same up in the tip.
once we see that material is shaped and recessed and the edge is exposed, uh, we can clean it all up with some sandpaper wrap here on a scraper. And this just ties everything together and uh, leaves a nice smooth finish on the edge of the, of the sidewall. It's going to help the ski glide a little bit better when it's on the edge and it has a nice professional look when they're done. Clean that off. Let's double check our work. And with that material relieved and recessed, now you can set your correct sidewall angle, your side edge angle.